Hey, I'm Chef Tom with All Things Barbecue, and we want you guys to know that we appreciate and hear your requests, so today we're preparing Texas-style brisket. We'll be cooking our Texas-style brisket whole today. That means the point and the flat will be left intact during the entire cooking process. But we do need to trim some of the excess fat off the outside, so let's go ahead and dive into that. All right, so we're wiping off some of the excess moisture because Cutting wet meat is dangerous. I will point out, you can see the flexibility in this brisket. That tells me that this has been nicely aged. Um, I also know that this is a Master Chef Choice brisket from Creekstone Farms, and we found that those are really consistent in the way they cook. And they tend to have really nice marbling throughout the point. So what we want to do is trim everything on the top down to about a quarter inch of fat. So we'll work our way down to the meat and know that we can come up just a little bit from there. Now what we want to take a look at is this fat layer in between the two muscles. It's called the decal. And this is really hard stuff. So we're going to cut a little bit of this out of here. As well on the back side, this is a huge chunk of fat that we don't need that there. That's not going to render down. That's not going to help us at all. See, if you cut this open, there's no meat inside. So we're just going to shave that down. Kind of clean this up a little bit. And then over on this side, we want to cut some of that hard fat out as well. All right, last thing I want to do is just clean up the backside a little bit, get rid of any excess fat, any silver skin. And you could really pick at this all day long if you want to, so when you're content with how it's cleaned up, we are just about ready to season. All right, so with some of that fat trimmed up and the brisket ready to go, we're going to hit it with some seasoning. Now, in Texas-style brisket, it's not uncommon to just do salt and pepper, um, but we want just a little bit more flavor than that. So we are gonna be using Arbutzer Smokin' our beef rub. And this has got big salt, pepper, and garlic flavor to it, which is why I think it's perfect for this style of brisket. Let's flip this over and get the other side. At this point, you could let the brisket rest for hours or you could get it on maybe in 20 minutes. But what's really important is that you let the rub set up to the meat. It's going to start to look wet and it's going to darken the color a little bit. Um, but you really want that rub attached to the meat before you put it on the pit. So what we're going to do is go get our pit fired up and make sure it's nice and hot and ready to go before we put everything on. And we'll let this sit in the meantime.
Today we're cooking on the Yoder Smokers 20 inch loaded Wichita. It's a traditional offset wood burning pit. Now once we get it nice and hot, uh, we're gonna be running at about 225 to 250 degrees. The temperature's sitting right where we want it and the steel's nice and hot. So we're gonna throw our brisket on, close the door, and we probably won't even look at this thing for another four hours. So we're about six and a half hours into the cook right now. Our pit's holding really steady at about 250 degrees as we continue to feed this fire and just sort of regulate and make sure that everything's going smooth. I want to take a look at the brisket now. So we're getting some really beautiful color down here and you can see as we start to poke that it's kind of got a little bit of jiggle to it which tells us that it's loosening up a bit. Now down here quite a bit more stiff so we're just going to flip this around and give the flat end some time down by the fire. There you can see some of that beautiful color coming off of there. So we're just going to continue to cook for a little while longer and then before too long we're going to wrap it up in some butcher paper. All right, so we're about eight hours into the cook. The color's looking awesome. We want to retain some of the moisture and we've got plenty of smoke on this thing. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it in butcher paper at this point. All right, so we wrap this over once, one more time, and we're pretty well covered. All right, so we're about 13 hours into our cook now. Our brisket's sitting around 208. It's feeling really nice and pliable. You guys can see that it's got a lot of bend to it. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this off the pit. And we'll let this guy rest for about an hour before we slice into him. So we've got our brisket. It's rested for a while now. It's looking really nice. We've got a beautiful color on the outside, but we've also trapped a lot of moisture in by putting it in that butcher paper. At this point, we're just going to take a few slices out and see how they look. Here we go. We have our two different muscles, the point and the flat. When we're cooking for friends and family and cooking this Texas style barbecue, it's a totally different animal than when we're cooking competition brisket. The slices are larger for better portion size as opposed to smaller for presentation. And this meat's cooked far more tender. Look at all of that moisture that's still in the middle of that brisket. This is really beautiful. We absolutely love the simplicity of the Texas style brisket. You're gonna spend a little more time preparing it, but it's totally worth the wait. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click the subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comments, or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to thesauce.atbbq.com. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.